Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy D Wayne bring you yet another YouTube video at this time. So basically what you guys see on your screen is my Blue Eyes Felgrand deck. Uh yeah, you guys already know this is the OCG variant that we're waiting to hit the TCG within the next few months. This will definitely be one of the decks I'll be playing in the coming format after this. You know, these sets are released in the uh the movie pack and in the um Let's see, the movie pack and in the, um, crap, what is it, movie pack? And what's the other pack where stuff is going to come in? I don't know. You guys can tell me what other pack that the blue eye stuff is going to come in in the comments. So, yeah, this is basically it. So, um, no, it's the, um, I just got it. It's the Felgrin Structure Deck and the movie pack to which Alternative Dragon will be coming in. So. Yeah, guys, let's just go straight into the deck list real quick. First, we have three blue eyes, white dragons, of course. One red eyes, darkness metal dragon. Two alternative dragons. Two felgrans. Two uh, spirit dragons. Two arc brave dragons. Two uh, um, white stone of ancients. One white stone of legend. Two sage with eyes of blue. Three maidens with eyes of blue. Two gospel of revival. Two Tradens, one Card of Consonants, one Dragon Shrine, two Melody of Awakening Dragons, two Twin Twisters, two Silver's Cry, uh, two Mausoleum of Whites, two Oasis of the Dragon Souls, two Colored Haunted, and two Solemn Strikes for the main deck. Extra deck, we have a uh, Twin Burst Dragon, two Azure Eyes, two uh, Spirit Dragons, one Crystal Wing Synchro, one Michael. One Moonlight Black Rose Dragon, one Dark Matter Dragon, one Full Armor Photon Dragon, one Prime Photon Dragon, one Dragaloon, and one Titanic Galaxy to round out the deck. So yeah guys, this is just basic walkthrough of the deck. You guys should already know what this deck does. No need for really any explanations. So with that said, I'll be going into some duels and I'll be right back guys. Alrighty guys, we are back with our first duel. Alright, so not too bad of a hand, I guess. Just summon out Maiden for defense and just wait for our opportunity. And let's see what our opponent is playing. Dragon X Swords is the guy's name. We may be playing some dragons. We'll see. The setting of the face downs. One day apiece, and it allows me to join to Darkness Metal. That's a great thing. Okay, we just passed for now. Nothing to do. <sighs> Come on, opponents. You have six cards in the extra deck. What are you playing? I'm curious. Ah, oh, wonderful. We get another maiden. I guess I'll set the strike and pass turn. We have an MST? Yes, we do have an MST. Okay. Looked like he was anxiously, anxiously awaiting for that. Digimon, digital monsters. We're playing digital bugs, finally. They're going to attack me with that? Okay. Let's face up Spell Shocker. Control to Graveyard, Target 1, Level 4, Insect. Graveyard, Special Summon at Target. Okay. 
through each other. Wow, was that worth it? I don't think so. Whatever. Hmm, should I go into something? Nah, I'll just sit on this. Not really too familiar with the Digital Bugs playstyle, but I think they they more or less revolve around, you know, being switched to defense position and activating their effects. That's the only real thing I know about Digital Bugs. They're not a very... A very popular deck that I see running around here, so very interesting to see something that you don't encounter very often being played. So, so let's see what you got, Mr. Digital Bug Guy. Nothing. Okay. There's a twin twister. Hmm. Hmm. Shall I go have some fun with Azure and start snowballing? I'll attack first. Nothing. Alright. Let's do this. And pass from there. Let's go, sir. Side note, I've always been a fan of Digimon. I watch all four seasons. Really good stuff, of course. His son is a Maxi. Is it going to creature swap? Limitation. Okay, Maxi is an insect. Okay. Uh, you can't target me. <laughs> oh, that was such a waste. <laughs> oh, this is what you get for not reading effects, bruh read your cards so yeah guys that is that i'll bring you guys another duel i'll be right back alrighty guys we are back with our second duel winning rock paper scissors and second i go not a bad hand at all i can definitely do some plays with this I could possibly win this. Interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon alternative first. You got something? Cool. I wanted to bait that out anyway. Activate. Summon. Uh, this target maiden. Of course, maiden chain effect. Uh, let's uh, pluck one out of the deck. And I guess let's put this in grave. Hmm. That's right, I could make a crystal wing this turn. 
Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Tag out. And banish. Bye bye. Normal sun. Crystal wing. Chopin. Set for three G's, and we shall pass. Egg effects. New the sun a blue eyes. Scoop. <laughs> I call the scoopage. Uh, alrighty guys, I have time for one more duel, so I will be right back with our last duel. Alrighty guys, we are back with the last duel of the video. Hmm, this hand is actually really bad to start with. Set Twin Twister and pass. Well, I need is a discard outlet. Hopefully, I'll survive the turn. Yep, there's always a risk with decks like these that run a lot of high level fields. There's always that risk for you to break, so. It's no surprise to receive hands like this. And we're playing heroes. Wonderful. Dark Law. Shadow Mist for Dark Law. Rogue Man. That means you have Shadow Mist already in hand. Mm hmm. Oh, going through the trouble just for. Uh, let's go ahead and get the fog rain into the grave. And just hit that. I know it doesn't negate. Just one of my fog rain in the grave. Swing and a miss. Okay. That's going to be a problem. Because it's going to go into absolute zero. What? I'm confused. Okay. There has to be a reason why he did that. Hmm. Oh boy. Summon a maiden and pass. I think we can do it. You have a warning. Do you have a warning? We have no grave, nothing, so over me and <laughs> acid that I have no idea why he did that. Okay. Okay, now we're kicking with some gas here. Alright. Alright, let's try not to mess this up. Dang, it's like you never seen any of these cards I'm playing before. Rivalry of the Warlords. Okay. 
Let's see, does that stop? Some mess. Show one type of mess. Alright, that's gonna be annoying. So that means I can't really play. That's no good. Darn. I think I've done the full grand already. Yep, I can't play. Crap. I should have switched the maiden to the fence mode. Definitely gonna lose this just because of the freaking rivalry. <sighs> this is the main reason why I hate Floodgate Show. I like fair Yu Gi Oh's. That's why I never play floodgates. But anyway, he decides to play it, he's gonna play it. Come on. I can't special anything, so. They still don't want to attack me, though. If you say so. Ugh. Ah, uh, yeah, I really can't do nothing right now. So I just pass. Pretty good. idea what I can do and get out of this situation. And if I try to destroy this and get over, I'll just lose all my losses. I'd be wasting my time. So, with that said, I detest, I definitely detest some floodgate cards, y'all. So, I will take this as a loss. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, I'm going to hit this surrender button right about now. Man. There you go. The power of floodgates, everyone. Cheap, whack, and unfair for you, Gil, in general. So, yeah, I'll be leaving it at that. Hope you guys enjoy it. So, I'll be bringing you guys more videos in the meantime. But until then, peace is YouTube.